Hey uh, everybody, making a quick unplanned video today because I have to update all my computers for next week's uh, release of the new MacBooks and the new Mac Mini. Well, I want to have everything up to date so I can start doing my tests right away. And one of the biggest pain points I've ever had on uh, these updates is Xcode. How do you get Xcode installed the fastest? Well, today I'm going to show you a couple methods to do it and we're going to actually race the machines and see which way is faster. All right, so I just finished doing the updates. Uh, I thought it was going to be two methods, but there's actually three. So make sure you check out that last one. All right, this has always bothered me and a lot of people have been asking and it's a confusing thing. Should you upgrade Xcode via the App Store or download it from the developer site? Well, we're going to test this out right now. I got two identical machines, well, almost identical. This is M2 MacBook Airs, both of them. One has 24 gigs, one has 8 gigs of RAM. I forgot which one is which, so this might be a good test. Both of these are on Xcode 14.0.1. On one of these, I'm going to go to the App Store and click Update. All right, now it's 1.34 p.m. And then on this one, I'm going to go to developers.apple.com and log in here. And what I want to get is Xcode 14.2. That's the latest version. And there it is. This is what it looks like. You can go directly to developer.apple.com slash downloads. Okay. It's 135 on this computer now. It says I got eight minutes worth of downloading here. This one just gives me a little circle, which I always found really annoying. Okay, it's now 145 and this one is still spinning. This one's done downloading. So I'm gonna open up my terminal and there it is, Xcode 14. I'm gonna go to zip-x, Xcode 14 and unzip that file. And you can also double click on it to automatically unzip it, but that has to validate the archive and it's just gonna take too long. This is a faster way of doing it. Now with this thing spinning, I have no idea what it's doing. It's no idea. You just have to set it and forget it. And there's benefits to that because everything is automatic. You don't have all these extra steps, but in the end, this one should be faster. We're gonna find out though. Also, I wanna mention that this is a, a smaller upgrade. So it's going from 14.0.1 to 14.2. If you had a bigger jump in the upgrade, it might take longer. Okay, that took a couple minutes. It's now 149. This is done. So what that gave me was, let's see, downloads. It gives me the actual Xcode program. This one is still spinning. Here, all I got to do is just, well, I need to go to applications, find the old Xcode, and I'm going to delete that, move to trash. And then the new one, I'm going to just drag the new Xcode to the applications folder. And uh, I think we're done. Let's just launch it and see. This is still spinning. I wonder how long that's going to take. This one's already launching. We're on 14.2. All right, I've got an update. Something's happening here. It's 153. This one stopped spinning, but now it's it's doing its uh, loading icon again, where we have to wait until it goes all the way around. And I don't know which step it's on. Hopefully it's near the end here. It's now 159. Now, usually I just get out of the room for an hour and to come back when it's done. But if you are watching it, this is a really painful experience. I would much rather do it this way. 2.07 p.m. and Xcode is finally finished. So I think that was about half an hour, maybe a little longer. So about twice the time that it took here. So if you don't mind a few manual steps here, this is gonna be way faster than this. Okay, now I do have two more machines to update and I found out that this one is a 24 gig model and this is the 8 gig model. So uh, just to kind of eliminate that as a possibility for why this one was so much faster, I want to do it over here. And here is the M1 MacBook Airs. This one has 16 gigs of RAM and this one is eight. I'm going to kick off this Xcode install through the App Store on this machine. And over here, I've got this article because I there's a command line and it's really long and I don't remember what it is. Basically, you want to use this thing called ARIA2. And I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description. There's some kind of script you got to run. Let's have a look here. This is the Xcode downloader by Ian Dundas. So let's get this Ruby script right here. Touch xcode install.rb and then open that up in visual studio code i know there's probably faster ways of doing this but i don't care this is fast enough for me so i'm gonna run this now using ruby xcode install what is the url of the apple download resource well let's go back to that it needs the actual resource right so we need to go into our developer portal 
I guess we still need to do all this stuff. I wonder how much faster it's gonna be really. Uh, copy link address, paste that in here. Okay, what is this? Oh, I need the, the cookie, cookie token, come on. Is this really gonna save me time? Uh, this one is almost done with its little spinny thing. I wonder if I can catch up here. How do you get the cookie? ADC download auth. I guess you can do that through developer tools. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. F12 application, All right, it's under cookies. Here we go. Hey, there's my cookie. Paste that in, boom. Ah, aria 2c not found. Ah, let's go with brew. Do I need to install that? Install aria 2c. This shouldn't count against this because it's a one-time install. Come on, come on. This one's doing its secondary spin. Ah, all right. We're getting, we're getting close here. I don't know if I'll be able to catch up. This is doing a brew update. Oh man, brew update is done. Did it install this thing? Yes, it did. Okay, let's go back to the other thing. Oh, we still need the URL again. Let's go back here. Where's that URL? There it is. Let's get that URL, paste that in. Auth token, copy, paste that in, boom. Aria 2C command not found. Uh, okay, let me restart terminal. Aria 2C, command not found. Aria 2, it's not Aria 2C, what am I, crazy? Oh, why is it Aria 2C? <laughs> what, where did I get that? I'm just messing this whole thing up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Paste, auth token. Hopefully it's not expired by now. Boom, hey, it's working. <laughs> So what's good about this method is that it uses multiple parallel uh, download streams, apparently, which is much faster. Uh, and it's giving me a nice little ETA right there, which is pretty cool. Unlike this one, this one is still spinning, so I'm okay for now. Now, just to compare this to the nine minutes that Chrome was showing me when I was downloading di directly from the website, three, four minutes is not bad. This is still a huge download though. Depending how fast your internet is, that might take a while. My internet here is a gig up and down. I get probably 800 realistically. All right, I got a minute left here in the download. While that's happening, I'm gonna go to my applications folder and I'm going to uninstall the previous version of Xcode. Just move it to trash. Ooh, I didn't quite make it. Our little friend here was actually faster than uh, the previous update on the M2 MacBook Air. This one's done, folks. I didn't quite make it. There's Xcode, nice and ready. Still, I wanna finish this. Let's, uh, let's have a look at documents or downloads. There it is, I still need to unzip that file. Let's go to downloads and let's do zip-x, Xcode. Wait a minute. Why is this on 14.1? That's not right. This should be 14.2, like the other ones. That's not that's not exactly what I wanted, is it? Oh, well, we've come across another problem that you might actually experience. And this is kind of annoying. Um, sometimes <laughs> you get 14.1 and even though you go to the app store, it just doesn't show you that you need an update. Look, Xcode is showing that there is no update. Let me reboot this one, because I'm still counting now. This is still part of my experience, isn't it? Oh, we're back on, ladies and gentlemen. We are back on. This one's getting 14.2, and this one got 14.1, and I'm restarting it to see if the store is going to give me 14.2 as an option. And that's annoying about the app stores. Sometimes it doesn't give you the most up-to-date version as the latest update. Why? I don't know. Let's go to the App Store and see what's going on under updates. Nothing. Nothing's going on here. It's saying Xcode was updated today, 14.1. We're still doing the extraction here of the archive. Will it detect that it needs an update? I'm guessing not. How do I update this? Let's go to About. There's no update button here. Let's go to Help. Uh, I don't see an update button here either. I still, if I want 14.2, what do I do? I can either wait until this uh, detects that it needs an update, or I can go back to the developer portal and manually install it. We've just come across a second case where it might be faster for you to do it manually in the first place. 
Didn't even expect this to happen right now, but it has happened to me in the past, so I'm kind of glad it did. This one's done extracting, so let's continue on. Just want to take this all the way through to the end, and we've got the Xcode program. I'm going to drag this into applications and drop it in, pop it open just like we did before. In the end, this is probably the fastest way to do it. If I didn't have to update Homebrew, and I did get 14.2 in the end here, and the download was actually much faster here. It took about half the time than it did using Chrome. There are even more steps here, but it is faster. And there we go. So one day this will update and it'll tell me that there's a new version, but that day is not today. 